When it comes to video games, though, uh, the West isn't the only area where games are made. And I, I really do think you're going to see a, like the East kind of step up. And you're already seeing it with Wukong. I mean, Wukong has sold 10 million copies. At it least that's what they're dope. claiming. And I, and I kind of believe it based on how many people are playing it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. while they keep making these Concord games and these Dustborn <laughs> games, which is another disaster, uh, we're just going to get stuff from South Korea, China, Japan, and they'll fill the void. For a while, West it had flipped, and Western developers were really making all the money. And now it's kind of flipping back to the East. Especially since now the East is willing, especially after Wukong, to entertain something outside of MMOs and gacha games, right? Like now they're seeing, oh, there's real money to be made here in traditional genres that the West has dominated. Asia is just eating their lunch this year. They have had so many spectacular failures in AAA publishing, and they're going to have one, I suspect, with Star Wars Outlaws because... Oh, Outlaws yeah. is in a bad position right now, man. Oh, yeah. Same month as Wukong, same release window. Uh, you've got all of us, you know, talking about it and making fun of it. Uh, and you, it's just, it, it, it's just a bad situation for Ubisoft right now. So I think they're, this is going to really send ripples through the whole industry. No one expected, no one expected the, the monkey. Right, so right. that was a game based on a, a Chinese myth. They, because what they I, think that they're. Well, where like, are they going to go next? Like, like, this is the only fantasy story that China has ever had. It's well, not you know what's enough. no, no, no. You, well, what's got... killing me about it are these? Oh, did we lose? He didn't even do Ninja Vanish. Come on, Jay, you're slipping. It was an accident. Oh, he's back. Okay. I said we didn't even get a ninja van. He's watching porn and he hit the wrong X. I I, I didn't have my laptop charged up. I didn't have it charged up. Sorry about that. But what I was gonna say is the the people that are mad like mad about this game like melting down because there's no diversity in it. Like, and you know what's really funny about that is they're trying to get basically. I don't know if they really understand what they're doing because they're always crying about cultural appropriation and they literally want to appropriate. China's legend and <laughs> add human races in it. Like there was a guy that's mad because I guess there's a town of women in the game. So he should ride his fucking cloud over there for a couple of hours in the game for some reason. It's it's ridiculous. So are they arguing that they actually want these monkeys to be like black people or something? Is that what yeah, they're saying? Yes, that's what they wanted. They wanted the black All people right. to be the monkeys. It's kind of racist right. of them. Yeah, it sounds a little <laughs> racist. Yeah, 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 that's why all the me? way racist. That's, <laughs> I mean, look at the way they, they, they treated the, you know, spell jammers and D&D and, and orcs. Like they already, yeah. they already think this, right? They're already racist, and uh, and but yeah, it's so it's really weird. It's really weird. That you guys saying to... it was black people that wanted the black people in the game to be monkeys, or the monkeys to be black? People? No, it's no, the white they, barren they, women they, that they... want the more diversity in this game. <laughs> and so many of them, you know, were saying, "Well, there's there's not there's no female characters." The reviewers were saying there's no female characters, but there actually is in Act Two, right? Uh, and uh, and so I guess they didn't play that. Far. But who cares? Even if there isn't, who gives a shit? Like it's not essential to the game. It's a game. It's a fucking stars a monkey man. Yeah. <laughs> who gives a fuck? Yeah. It's the stupidest yeah. shit to get mad about. And in trying to say, like, oh, pig. we should have had all these know. human races in it. How does that help the story? That wasn't their vision. It's all yeah. animals. <laughs> yeah, it's it's an- anamorphic people. You know what? They should have made the monkey gay. That would, have, that would have got it praise. He's the origin of AIDS. Man, that's crazy. Hey, make him the- make him creepy as well. Just have him over in the corner rubbing one out, like uh, real quick. Uh, does does this game is this game on PC? It's, it's on, on PC yeah. and PS Five. Yeah. Okay. It will not be coming to Xbox, and I suspect that's probably because of, you know, I used to think it was because of the Game Pass, but the Suicide Squad developers came out and said that the Xbox Series S is a nightmare to work for. I think a lot of people are skipping Xbox because they don't want to put shit on that Xbox Series S. Yeah, the lower end spec. Yeah. Hey, I got a question. Uh, are you able to play Ghost of Tsushima on Steam without a PlayStation account? I don't know. I, I 
don't have it on Steam. I already had it for PlayStation, so not the director's cut, I believe. The the one they recently released. Something something about I think that. you I think you need it if you want to play the raid stuff, the multiplayer. The online stuff. Yeah. yeah. But if you want to play I, the single player, I don't think you need it. Sony's okay. pushing that everywhere and they've permanently delisted those 177 countries after the Helldivers fiasco because they don't want to end up in that situation again where they've got to yank the game from those countries. So that, that that's deliberate strong arming into the PlayStation network because that's where they want it to be. They, they, they want to be subscription services, right? PlayStation, Xbox, they want to be the Netflix of gaming. And it, it's, just, it's a really stupid business plan. It's going to Well, that whole fail. thing destroyed uh, Helldivers. If they do that to something, anything else, I think, moving forward, they're going to end up destroying that game. Look and it doesn't make money. It. it doesn't make no. money except for like one or two tentpole games. And it's worse for everybody else. There's no... You can do the napkin math on it. There's no way you can make a return enough for, to pay for every game on that. And that's what's hurting them right now. And they, yeah. they paid so much money to get these exclusives for Microsoft and Xbox buying up all these companies. And their subscriber growth is flat. It's not mm -hmm. growing. It hasn't been growing. They're in trouble. What's the purpose of them wanting people to link like a PlayStation account or something? How does that affect like numbers? Like what does it do for them to do that? Well, because they want to post that they have growing numbers to their uh, subscription program. So, okay. They they pitch it's that this the investors, is the whole basically. future of gaming. Yeah. And it's 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 bogus. The future okay. of gaming is actually kind of shifting to PC. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I don't think you can stop it. Because you could get a you could get a decent PC that can run things for about the same price as a PlayStation 5, I think, right? A PC you can do bucks. a lot more than just game on it. Yeah, you can do a lot of shit on it. You can do yeah, your so work many people on work from home now that they yeah. justify it that way. Is you know, it's like, well, do I buy a console? Or do I buy a laptop that I can, you know, do work with and game with? Mm. Yeah, they they're not that expensive anymore. Not like it used to be. It used to be really expensive to get into PC gaming, and that's that's changed a lot over the past decade. Two grand now, and you can get yourself a good PC. You get a monster PC for a thousand ish. So I'm, I'm hearing you made... yeah, Australian dollars, two grand. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Don't worry, our funny money is catching up to yours. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Supposedly Wukong's budget was 40 mil. I can't confirm it though. I'm trying that's to insane that's insane. That's crazy. Think that they've sold a hundred million copies. Like they've made million. so much money. Yeah, that game on this looked, game. It looked dope. I get I have to get it, man. I mean, I'm Sorry. telling you, bro, the intro, they fighting in heaven, bro. That's that's insane. You they got they, to get they have like no competition for this game this year. Like it, it people want what a else? Fun big target. No, no. Outlaws game. was supposed to be it. Star Wars Outlaws. Oh, fuck when that that yeah, fuck, yeah, that's fuck gonna that's studio. gonna outdo it. What about um, <laughs> what was the other one? Assassin's Creed with the crimson chin. What, how do you reckon Assassin's Creed's gonna sell? I don't know yet. I, I think uh, I think that it's it's got a very strong basis, but it's not going to sell. Look, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is the most successful game in the franchise. They sold 20 million copies, but it took them two years. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, and there's no way that Shadows is going to perform as well. I suspect Shadows will perform well because it's Assassin's Creed, but it ain't going to do Valhalla numbers, and and certainly not going to do them faster than wukong so i think i really liked valhalla we call that in business an optics problem for your investors mm -hmm. because your your comparators look so good and make you look so bad so the problem is they have an outlier right we have black swan event here with uh with black myth wukong and the investors are going to be blown be well saying well we should put our money into asian companies mm. forget about the u.s uh you know and western game companies well i mean, tug, they, tug they, had they, to run Oh, I just okay. want to say, all right, yeah, kid, out, kid stuff. All right, he might be back. He might be back. Peace out, Tug. Like, the 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 problem is like people people focus on like the Western market for games, and because of that, like these studios have basically just flipped off their audience at every single turn. So now there's this massive hole for somebody else to come in because we're so desperate for anybody else to just make a decent fucking single player game. Yeah. 
Yeah, it just has to be decent and and avoid the messaging and the pandering. Like and it doesn't it, it doesn't need to be groundbreaking. Like that's the thing. It doesn't need to be groundbreaking. It doesn't need to introduce anything new. It just needs to be fucking decent. That's how low the bar is right now. So yeah, Asia's gonna come fun. in and just stop it. Fun and politics free. And and you're and 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 you know, well, it's a little more than that. It's gotta have the old values, right? The old storytelling values. Uh, you know, the old virtues, the, the new virtues aren't selling. And it's a double whammy for Western publishers, because while they're going, you know, woke with their with their messaging in their games, that's a problem for China. Right. You can't put some of that stuff into China. And that's yeah. 30 to 30 to 40 percent of your sales as a Western publisher. Good for China. So you're not getting it from China and you're not getting it from the West. I don't know how how you're going to pay for these games. What is this, Rhino? This was uh, this is just Mr. Bug saying that it's a really cool game. I just thought I'd share a little bit. It's, uh, playing as a monkey fighting a giant uh, giant sword wielding tiger in a pool of blood. Fuck yeah! What else has come out this year that would contend with this game for game of the year besides maybe Hell Divers too? Hell Divers was it, but they screwed the pooch. I can't think of anything. All I've played this year, I played. Didn't Super Mario RPG come out this year? I played that, and I played Luigi's Mansion 2. That just came out. I just beat that the other day. This game is original because it's not human designs. It's monsters and animals and all yeah, that. Yeah, but it's not diverse enough, uh, Fatal. <laughs> <laughs> that tiger needs to be blacker and maybe oh, gayer. Oh, yeah. Oh, Stellar Blade, Dragon's Dogma 2, Final Fantasy I VII Rebirth. I, Hal like, World, bro. Like none of those games, I think, com compare to what we have here. Stellar right? Blade like, was legit. I, I like Stellar Blade, but I, I everything I've seen about this game, it looks way more fun, right? Like yeah, Stellar Blade, you have the fucking waifu and everything, and that's great. But this game looks like it's way more fun to play. It's over the top. Wukong is just the imagination is off the charts, bro. Like right? I want to see the anime of this. Like I want to see them drop an anime. So many anime, oh, so many so cool. stories of the Monkey King. Yeah, dude, people are super jazzed about this because I do like I do drawing commissions, and I've already got hit up for two for this That's game, dope. and I've oh, never even heard nice. of the game until they hit me up. And I was like, oh wow, they, this must be popular. <laughs> well, there's representation here. You you have the strong furry representation in Wukong. <laughs> there you go. Looks yeah. awesome, man. Let me get these two super chats here. Uh, Matthew Winningham for 20. Go look at Xbox's latest short on their YouTube channel. Gave Mam Solo the Sigma Chad filter as well as Dustborn. Ooh, we'll have to see that. I'll, I'll look it up. Uh, David see... M for oh, 20. Sorry. We're winning. I full expect the games and movies industry to change in the next two years. Their whole model is not sustainable. The pendulum is swinging back. I agree with that mm -hmm. 100%. Bro, you 100%. know how you know how bad I want the action figure of this tiger monster right now. <laughs> You'll probably be able to get it. Yeah. That's why there's so much crying online right oh now. Oh my and, god! Yeah, let's and, go into some of that. Uh, you had reset era the other day melting down over this game. Like, there's so much cope over this game. Like, literally, the so the co-writer, did you see that, Grums? The co-writer had a meltdown. Yeah. Begging <laughs> people JT's not to video. play this. Was that the one Holy telling shit. people that they should pirate it if they liked playing it? You have it? that yes. link? I, I've got it here. <laughs> back here. Yeah, pull that up. I won't, Reset here, error, you can, though. You can pull it up. You got it? I just okay. sent it in the private Got chat. it. Oh, here it is. Okay, let me... Let me get this on the screen. Let's get this on the screen. I just want to quickly say, the more I see the actual model that they base the chick from Outlaws uh, as, like, it blows my mind that they can't make her look as feminine as she actually looks. They can. Oh, yeah. They just don't want to. Like, they just don't so want to. Yeah. yeah. So this is the co-writer of that article that IGN put out with Rebecca Valentine. And the translator. That this is the translator? Yeah. Okay. That's the co-writer and translator. Korean. So this is the source to all of Game Science's problems, is one of these people right here. And I love Game Science's response, too, by the way, because PC Gamer got butt hurt. We asked Game Science about their sexism, and uh, they said, fuck off. 
<laughs> they, they didn't respond. <laughs> so they salty about it and wrote a whole article. But this is this is glorious. I'm so fucking pissed. This has gone too far. Don't play Black Myth Wukong if you must go and pirate it. If you enjoy it, I do not want to know it. Fuck game science and all the grifters who are doing this to one of my favorite people in the industry. Oh my god. Yeah, talk about Rebecca. Who was the golden child exemplar reporter of game journalism? They they came out and praised her so much for her hit piece article, and then this happened. I think it's close. I gotta be honest. I don't give a shit if they were if those translations are real. I don't care about dudes trolling online or no. talking about a girl being hot. Like who cares? They were doing locker room talk anyway. Who cares? Is the game good? That's what I care about. Yeah, uh, these people making a big deal about this shit. It's so stupid. Reset era melting down, uh, coping with the fact that nobody other than them gives a fuck was great. That actually made my day the other day when I when I saw that. It was great to see. Like, who cares? Nobody really cares, and they're finding that out right now. That's what's so funny about this. Like, you didn't learn that last time with Hogwarts Legacy. How much people don't like you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You sell this games. They're so dumb, man. God. These people are insane. And they do this all the time. And I love seeing it blow up in their face, man. This has been <laughs> You fantastic. love to see it. I do. They're losing their minds. I mean, yeah. Rebecca Unhinged. fled Twitter and went on to Reset Era and just started posting up a storm there, doubling and tripling down on her article. It's the truth. They're sexist. No, wait, I didn't read that. The audience is sexist. And she starts, like, moving the goalposts when her headline clearly implies that the studio is sexist. She's like, no, I only meant the audience. I'm like, how's that any better? Yeah. <laughs> what, differ worse. what difference does it make, really? Six, you one, half dozen of the other. You call them sexist. You call the fans sexist. They're all sexist. Everybody is sexist yeah. in their eyes.